Morning guys and girls, morning Gaza. Morning. Back out with the Gaza. Um, we're on a little permission today. Um, the guy has got quite a bit of land and has asked us not to uh, disclose the location um, as he doesn't want any um, trespassers on there really and neither do we so we won't get uh, any panoramic views today I'm afraid but uh, looks like we, uh, we might be for a good day eh guys? Yeah it could be yeah. yeah it's got a bit of history about it um, apart from the weather Weather looks a bit gloomy and we've got a bit of drizzle in the air but hopefully it will clear up and we'll have a good go at it. So we'll see you all in the first good hole. Oh that's not bad for a first target. It's there. Got the flaws are. You little beauty. Ha <laughs> ha. Off to a good start. First find for the day. Rightio. Catch you on the next one. Well, I didn't dig this live. Um, it was only a low tonish, mid, well, mid range, 40s, 45, something like that. Little pendant. Not sure if it's silver, it looks a bit stained, so. But I've had a $2 coin and got a pendant, so we're on the board already. Well, I think this place has got quite a few dollar coins that are hanging around. So. Let's see if this is one. I've found two or three of them already. Uh, could turn into a nugget fest. <laughs> Hopefully. Or it could just be that. No way. It is. Oh, been down there a while, that one. Can't even make out any discernible marks on it. Wow. It's got absolutely no details on that one at all. I've never seen a coin like that before. Definitely a two dollar coin, but never seen one so wasted. Again, I didn't dig it live. I'm trying to avoid the rain. It's just starting to come down a little bit heavier at the moment. I'm just trying to just be quick. Can't see anything on that one at all, to be honest. Not at the moment. Looks a bit dark. Looks to just to be a root penny, but I'll let it dry up and we'll see what comes out of it in the end. Can <laughs> barely make out a little bit of the right in there, so. Put it in the bag, let it dry out, see what comes of it. But first penny on the board, that's not bad. Well here's one I'm not gonna miss on a live dig. It's a 91, 92. This is a really good target all the way around. See what we've got, I can see green. I can see green popping up. And it's an early one. Oh you beauty. Oh it's a young Vicky, it's a young bonnet in absolutely fantastic condition, 1874. Oh, you beauty. Oh, well, he said there'll be old stuff here. And he certainly wasn't joking. That makes me wonder what that other coin was now. Fantastic. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant coin. I've got a nice 76 here, doesn't seem too deep, so we'll go and have a look at the best to get, this could be a half penny or, oh wow, or it could be even that, what is that? Hang on, hang on, hang on, okay, I'm going to get the big camera out so we can have a proper look at this, that looks, that looks cool. Well, I'm hoping I can do this one handed. And clean this thing out. Oh, it's a little star pendant look. It's cleaning up very nicely. Can we see any stamps on it? I'll knock it out of it more. Pretty dirty, but 
Yeah, 925 silver. You little beauty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, wow. I can see this day turning out to be absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Over the moon. Got a silver pendant as well. Well, I've got an 86 here, really close to the surface though, it's right there, so I don't know what this could be, it's good numbers, good signal, good sound, and there we go, it's another green one, it's another green one, what is this, what is it, it's a rude penny, 19, 1951. Yeah, she'll make that a George. George is sick. Something a little bit older would have been nicer, but still another penny. Well, I've got a lovely little signal here. It's nice and deep and nice and tight and really high pitched. So, really got my hopes up for this one. Flip it out a bit. Keep it in focus. I was saying it was quite deep. But no, I think, okay, I think we're out. I see something there, guys. I can see something there. It's small. And it's, it's got a silver edge to it. Can you see that? We'll just peel it apart. Oh my god, look at that, look at that, look at that, there's the imprint, oh it's a British one as well, I've got an Edward Thruppence, oh, oh my god, oh wow, absolute mint, 1907. Absolute beauty. Wow. What a day we're having, guys. <laughs> I'll just pull this out. There's some kind of disc. Shiny on that side. Ultra thin. And it appears to have something underneath there. There was a little bit of rust here. Could be the face of a watch or... It's going to need a, a good clean before I can work out what that is. It was ringing up nice. But, um, yep. Until I clean it up, it's going to remain a little bit of a mystery. Well, I've got a bit of a low to middle tone here. But it's right on the surface, so I'm going to give it a dig, see what it is. See what we can... Oh, my, oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh... Okay, right, if you can see where I can see, I'm going to stop it here, because this could be my ultimate, ultimate bucket list of my three years of metal detecting. If it is what it is, I'm going to call Gaz. Oh, jeez, I'm shaking. Okay, I'm just going to leave it like that, just for the moment, and let him come over. Holy crap, it looks even more like it, just, just as I'm looking at it like that. Hang on, let's get Gazza over. Excuse the shakiness and the heavy breathing and stuff like that, but I've just called Gaz over and he's, he's agreed with me that it looks awfully shiny, Gaz. Just like gold. Oh my God, hold on. I don't, I don't know how to take it out. If I pull it or lift it or, or what? Where is it? Oh, it's all in the ball. Oh, don't, don't be broken, don't be broken, whatever you are, don't be broken. <laughs> it's, it's a bracelet, is it? Yep, yeah, a bracelet. Yeah, look. That looks yeah, the, like gold to me. The clasp is there, guys. Shit. Holy crap! <laughs> is, it, is it a necklace? The other clasp is on the other side. Okay. Oh, oh. This is what I've been searching for. 
for the three years that I've been metal detective. I've found gold rings, pendants, but I've never found a bracelet or a necklace. And that is a bracelet. I can see where the clasps have broken. And we're going to check it now if it's got a stamp, see what carrot it is, if we can make it out. But far out, guys. It's definitely gold. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's been in the ground like that, and it comes up like that. Yeah. All right. Okay, we'll get back to you. Well, we've looked at the numbers, and it says it's 14 karat gold. Absolutely, completely blown away by that. What a find, and it only needs the clasp fitting fixed. I'm sure I can get that done. <laughs> you bloody beauty! Well, I've just spotted something under the ground and I just scratched at it with a pinpointer and to me it looks pretty blingy. It's ringing up 58, so I'm not really hopeful it's silver or anything, but I think it could be something at least. And, well, there we go. It could well be a little silver ring. How beautiful is that? Oh, God, it just keeps getting better. I don't know if I can see a stamp on that one, but it's very thin. Um, very small, so. Maybe it's a drunker. I'll get the daughter to have a look. She's got better eyes than me. Feels like it could be silver, but uh, there's probably not a lot of weight to it, but what they say? A ring's a ring. That's a very pretty one. Cool. I've got a screaming 85 here. It's too deep for the pinpointer. Absolutely screaming. Let's get in there and see what this is. I cut around it. Oh, what a day I'm having. I just love days that just seem to fall out of the sky with it. When everything just comes together, it feels like something's still down there. So quite far off. This part is pretty sandy, to be honest. Well, it looks a bit, maybe there's a bit of fill on it or something. Definitely down deep. Yeah, it's still in there. I got it again, I got it again, guys. I got it again, I don't need that anymore. I think I can see exactly what it is. And it's gonna be another big silver. And there we are. Absolutely brilliant. Flozza! Fill that off. Take the door off. Ah. Oh. What are we, 1947? Oh, <laughs> the most common florins you can get. But hey, I'm not moaning at that. Oh my God. Oh, just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Look, I'm playing a little game with Gaza. 74, clear as a bell, right on top. Just about there. He says one cent coin. I'm undecided. <laughs> we can put hope. Could be a penny. Should be a little bit deeper than that though because he's right. But it sounds so sweet. Probably a bottle top there. When I've seen that. Mm. 
Ring to that yet, I What do you think I thought that was? A ring? Yeah, no. Nah. Let me tell you, God, guys. Stop kidding. I thought this target it was right on top. Well, I'll come back to you when we found it. <laughs> well, we were both wrong. It was that. <laughs> I've got a scream in 72. And this little gap here, I've tried it with the pinpoint, so I can't get it yet. So, could be quite deep. But it's really, really nice sounding. So, this grass is a bit long and the rain has made the ground so claggy and muddy, it's horrible actually. But anything to get out digging. <laughs> oh, bit of old glass. That's a, a nice bit of old glass there. Look how thick that is. That shows you some age to this place, eh? Hey? It's a very nice piece of glass, don't know yet. I'm good at that. So. Mm. There's a bit deeper than that. It's all good. Let's see what I mean. It's all stuck to the knife and pinpointer and I can't get to it yet. Must be deeper than that. to fish around in this one guys. Let's try one side with the machine. I could have got this completely wrong. It's not showing up at all now. Hey? Ring. A ring? Wow. Nice ring too. Well, there's something here now. But that definitely wasn't the target. I'm going to have to fish around in here guys and try and find it. I'll come back to you and I'll show you Gary's ring as well. Alright, we've got Gaz come over. Give me a hand with this one. Fishing around in the mud. You think she knows where it is? I like that little prod point you got though, Gaz. That works pretty well, eh? You what? No, that's already there. I don't know where it is, mate. Well, here's the ring Gaz I found. Beautiful little sterling silver ring, 925. Get a good look at that. That's pretty cool. I know there's a good target in there, Gaz, I'm sure of it. That's it. That. That. You put your pinpointer on it. Tiny bit of lead or something. Something. 
All right. Here's your ring back. Oh, me. And I am not happy with the way that sounded to give me that. Hold on one second again, guys. <laughs> Excuse the whole guys, but I needed, I needed the gasser to come out and help me. And we had to hack away because it was the most trickiest little thing to get. And what he pulled out for me is a little ram's head. <laughs> I knew there was a better one in there than that. So, 19, 1948 gas. That's probably 50%, but yeah, don't worry about that hole. I'll put it all back. <laughs> <laughs> We've just dug that. Looks like a military button of some sort. Looks like it's got a duck on it or something. Yeah, come out of that hole there. Nice find. Rightio, catch you soon. Got a nice 73 down here. In pinpoint range, just the base. It could be. A dollar coin actually. I found quite a few of them today. It'll be interesting to see at the end how many I've actually managed to accumulate. Done really well on the goldies. It's still in the old. Oh, that's telling me it's so good. Frank up pretty well. Oh, it's over here. What the hell is this? Oh, bloody hell, it's a coin. Oh, and it's a good one. It's Britannia, look. Who's on this one? Look at this mud. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, that's so much rain. Oh, I can't see properly. Hold on. Let's give it a rub on the trousers. Just take the dirt off the face of it. Oh, look at it, it's an Edward. Look at that. Oh, what a beautiful coin. Edward the seventh. And death date for you. 1908. Beautiful coin. That and the Vicky penny as well. Oh, look how nice they come out of these old coins. Look at the sheen on that. I wonder if you can get it just as you turn it into the light. It's just absolutely beautiful coins that they used to make back in the day. Modern ones, I don't know. They seem to rot away really fast, don't they? But these older ones, they, they keep well in the ground. Anyway, that's... Wow. Oh, my God. I know I keep saying it, but... What a day. Guys, the boys found your second silver for the day. What you got, guys? Little sixpence. Don't know what date it is 1943, yet. mate. Well, there you go. 50% silver. I think it was 50, uh, 57. They went to 50%. You might have 925 there, mate. Yeah. Let's just check it out, though. I might be wrong. Yeah. Who's on the back of it? George Six. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, have a check anyway. It still might be 925, but yeah, it's another it silver is. in uh, Gaza's pocket. Beauty. <laughs> well, we've left that uh, permission behind us. The rain came, and uh, yeah, it came down pretty hard. So we've skedaddled back into town, trying to beat it for a bit, see if we can squeeze another hour or half an hour in around this old park. Um, yeah, usually gets pretty hammered, but you never know. It's been busy, school holidays and all that. So just a bit of a way to unwind because, boy, we've already had a fantastic day already. I don't know if you can see that, guys, but the rain has pretty much set in for the day. So me and Gaz is going to call it quits. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to dry up now. So anyway, I think uh, with the time that we did have, eight, I think we've done really well. What do you reckon, Gaz boy? Yeah, I reckon we've done... Well, you done really well. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Silver Gary is back. <laughs> no, we we knew he went on a little bit of a drought, <laughs> but he lives up to his name. He is the Silver Fox, Silver Gaz. 
Now we'll do a quick round up in the car as usual and as usual we'll go over to Gaz's side and see what he got for us. What'd you get Gaz? A few buckles, a couple of buckles, a bit of doorknob, a bit of rubbish, the junk. usual brown buggers. Oh, how do you find so many? A little car, some small change, only one goldie today. But I got a flooring that was on my first dig of it. <laughs> and then a sixpence. Yeah. Then a Commonwealth penny. Don't know what year that is. That's, That's pretty, pretty crusted. Toasted. Got this really nice button, eh? Like an Air Force button. Yeah, Royal Air Force. We've mm. done a bit of research on it already. Yeah. And we can say it's from 1941 to 1948. Yeah. Royal Air Force, uh, Australian Royal Air Force. Uh, button, absolutely beautiful. I love buttons. Yeah, silver ring. Yep, nice little 925 yeah, ring. Yeah, looks like it might have a couple of diamonds or a stone in there. Yeah. And then just a black onyx ring, I think it might be. Not sure of that. I'm not sure. It does ring up low, but mm. there's, it's like, there's no weight to it, so we're not thinking tungsten or titanium, well, but yeah, it does actually like ring up. You know, there is metal content in it but we mm. just not sure so okay over to my side now where do i begin <laughs> okay let's start here small change 50s fives tens something like that a key bit of an old window latch that thing on the left hand side that little base thing i never did find out what it was maybe it was just the front of an old watch or something like that not sure a couple of brown buggers um, two roof pennies, beautiful conditioned young bonnet. Um, I'll put the dates on. Um, it was the, 18, 78 or something like that. I can't really remember. Yeah. I'll put the date up on, on, on it anyway so you can have a look. And the other one's a 1908. Yeah, that's an Edward. Yeah. That's a beautiful coin as well. It's just starting to dry out now. Mm. Look, getting a bit crusty. Um, not bad in the old nuggets, guys. 28 bucks in gold. 28 bucks. I fell on a patch <laughs> that it was just, like I said in the video, I knew I'd done all right, but I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. And uh, yeah, over to my uh, silver hole. Little silver patch. <laughs> Can't quite get in there, that's in the way. Um, yeah, shoot that out of the way, guys. What did we get? 1947 Florin. Yeah, yeah, I know. Most common one you can ever find. <laughs> 1948 Ramshead shilling. Oh, I had to find that for him. Yeah, oh my <laughs> god. I, he, he, oh, you saw, you saw what's trying to pin that down. I'd, I'd need to gather help from that. Um, little 925 star pendant, um, that'll go straight on the chain, <laughs> clean it up and put it straight on the chain, love that. A lovely little thrift, um, little British one as well I think, little uh, Edward thrift, absolutely beautiful, 1907 you can see that quite clearly. Um, another bucket lister, pair of silver um, cufflinks, yep. Yep. never found anything like that before. Little ring, just a John Kelly shoe, uh, it's got no weight to it at all, it's a pretty little thing, but like I said, it's got it's got no weight to it, so we don't think it's over. And the very first thing I think I found was the angel. So yeah, the angels were definitely around me today, and the very first thing that I saw this morning was a rainbow. <laughs> and what did they say you find at the end of the rainbow? Oh. <laughs> oh, you beauty! I, honest, honestly, that is one of my all-time bucket list of bucket list of finds. I found rings, pendants, like I said, but to find a chain or a bracelet was always on my list. And yeah, I can tick it off. And I don't think it's um, going to be that hard for a jeweller to fix. Just um, whatever they can do just to seal the two ends. It's not broken. That's what I thought. I thought, oh, if I pull it out and it's only bits of it or something like that. But yeah, it all came out in one piece and I'm 
bloody well happy about it. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna see how much it's worth and guarantee by next week that's gonna be on my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know the damp end to the day, but yeah. another yeah, enjoyable right. session. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, we had fun. We always yeah. do. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching this far. Uh, no doubt we'll be out again uh, next week somewhere out and about. So yeah. until next time. Till next time. See you when we're out and about, guys.